fall boating can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, the colors are gorgeous and the anchorages are quiet. On the other hand, the weather can be less predictable and temperatures, especially if you head north, can drop to the point where you're packing mitts in a toque before you're packing sunscreen. Fortunately, Jeannot has the perfect solution. And our friends at Central Marine have loaned us a sweet NC-795 Legend for this year's fall trip. NC stands for New Concept and represents a European design line of boats ranging from 21 to 46 feet in length, all with one thing in common, hard top enclosures and real glass windows. While we're docked at Big Sound Marina, let's take a closer look at the interior details of this Genoa NC-795. These pocket-sized coupes are popular in Europe due to their absolute protection from the elements. For me, it's nice not to have to mess with leaky canvas or ill-fitting snaps. For a 25-foot boat, this cockpit's pretty big and very versatile. You've got a U-shaped lounge that can seat at least five people and plenty of storage under the cushions. Another benefit of outboard power is below deck storage. Without a stern drive engine under the deck, there is plenty of storage for extra gear. This is also where you'll find the fuel tank for the little diesel heater. While the 795 doesn't have a full beam swim platform, Genoa does manage to fit two decent sized platforms to either side of the engine. To have a functional salon on a 25 foot hardtop, you've got to have some versatility. And Genoa is a master at that. One example would be this port side bench, which faces forward when underway, but converts to face aft, and now it's a dinette. It also converts into a secondary berth, at which point you would definitely want to make use of the optional side curtains. Now, all this glass could be problematic on a hot summer day, but the side windows both open, as does the sunroof and the back sliding doors. So you can let enough air in to cool the salon down. If it's not quite enough, you can also option air conditioning. Storage, storage everywhere. There is a ton on this boat. Not only under the galley, but in the deck and under the dinette. The helm is nicely appointed with the Yamaha Command Center, a Lowrance Elite TI2, trim tap controls, a Fusion Marine Entertainment System, and a great big stainless cup holder for my Yeti travel mug. Down below, the V-berth is tight but functional and features a tinted glass hatch, open shelves, and storage under the cushions. The stand-up head features a pump-out toilet, sink, and a porthole that opens for venting. This multi-day trip in cooler weather really allowed us to experience the NC-795 in a variety of conditions. On our first day, we encountered winds gusting to 50 kilometers per hour with waves over 1.5 meters. We found shelter from the wind in Collins and Deep Bays, so we had a chance to pick up the speed. Right now, we're at 4,000 RPM, doing 21 miles an hour. I would say this is probably a pretty good cruising speed. Engine doesn't need a lot of trim. It's really nice to have a set of Lenco trim tabs, and even on a boat that's only 25 feet long. These ones have the LED indicators, so it's really easy to tell where the tabs are. And because the boat's only 9.2 wide with a single engine, it does kind of lean over on its side a bit, depending on which way the wind's coming across the bow. But with the tabs, you can straighten it and flatten it right out anytime you want. Here's a little surprise for you. This little NC-795 with a 250 VMAX SHO on the back is getting 2.1 miles per gallon. And the cool thing is that's at 33 miles an hour at 5,000 RPM. And we've been playing around with it a little bit, and if I slow down to 4,500 RPM, 23, 24 miles an hour, it actually dropped my fuel economy to 1.9, 1.8 miles per gallon. So we're finding our best cruise is right around 33, 5,000 RPM, and we're getting 2.1 miles per gallon. Not bad for a boat that goes 42 miles an hour. Single engine boats, especially one with this much windage, can be tricky to dock, but not with a bow thruster. And it doesn't matter if you want to dock bow in or stern in. Just use the engine to control the stern and the thruster to control the bow. This is one must-have option. Single engine to bow thruster, any day.